Thank you, Namibia. I now give the floor to the World Obesity Federation. Thank you, President. Um, this statement is delivered by World Obesity Federation on behalf of the Framework Convention Alliance on Tobacco Control, World Cancer Research Fund International, Moveni International, and World Diabetes Federation. We welcome the updated WHO World Report on Social Determinants of Health Equity and the Implementation-Oriented Operational Framework for Monitoring Progress. We recognize many determinants of health lie outside the health sector and must be tackled through a multi-sectoral approach. Nowhere is this truer than for public health priorities such as obesity and alcohol harm. We commend WHO's recognition of the need for a systems-based approach to address NCDs including obesity, mental health conditions and risk factors and to address the wider determinants of health across sectors including environmental actions and those of health harming industries. We appreciate WHO country support on commercial determinants, a key obstacle to health equity. We welcome the report's proposed actions to address these key barriers, economic and gender inequality, racism, and we urge that stigma, false narratives, and preconceptions also be addressed as part of the wider determinants to access quality health services, particularly for people living with obesity, alcohol use disorder, and other mental health conditions. Actions to address key social determinants of health have been insufficient worldwide, especially actions of unhealthy commodity industries, including tobacco, alcohol, and unhealthy food and beverage industries. This inaction is driving the global burden of NCD mortality and morbidity, from cancers, diabetes, heart disease and stroke, chronic respiratory disease, mental health and neurological conditions, and NCD morbidity, billions living with oral health conditions also. We call on member states to accelerate UHC implementation guaranteeing quality prevention, care and treatment services that are equitable and don't perpetuate stigma. Focus more strongly on NCD best buys, especially pro-health taxis, which provide substantial return on investment and multiple benefits for shaping social determinants. We call on WHO to protect the, the development of the World Report from undue influence and clarify how the Social Determinants Operational Framework and Wellbeing Framework will complement rather than duplicate each other. WHO and member states should address commercial determinants of health, including protecting policy making from undue influence as part of addressing social determinants of health too. Thank you.